gentleman, Walter Cronkite. Welcome to the ninth annual Kennedy Center Honors, a celebration of the performing arts and their vital role in making this land, America, the beautiful. That most American of 20th century poets, Robert Frost, wrote, when to the heart of a man was it ever anything but treason to go with the drift of things. For tonight, we honor six individuals who have resisted the drift of things because they have been true to their visions. Each one has touched the hearts and souls of audiences the world over. On this signature wall behind me, are inscribed the names of our past honorees, recognized for their excellence and their contributions to the performing arts. To this roster, we now add a porcelain beauty from London, England, and a feisty lad from London, Canada, whose lifelong love affair with the theater and with each other has made them the first couple of the American stage. A violin prodigy from San Francisco whose gift at age 70 is as fresh as it was at age 7. A butcher's clerk from Britain who left the old world of European dance to create a new world of American ballet. A kid with stars in her eyes from Jamestown, New York, who became the best known and maybe the best comedian of all time. An American original, schooled in Sibelius, Bach, and Art Tatum, who left the red clay hills of Georgia to bring us all the sounds of soul. A few hours ago, a few blocks from here, the president welcomed our honorees to the White House and offered them the nation's gratitude. Good evening and welcome to the White House. Tonight we gather in this grand old house to pay tribute to six men and women to whom we Americans and indeed millions around the world find ourselves deeply in debt. Others in the life of our nation have seen to our material needs, built our roads, constructed our cities, given us our daily bread. Still others have seen to the life of the mind, founding our universities and expanding knowledge in every field. But these six, these six are artists, and as such they've performed a different and singular task to see to the deepest needs of the heart. Lucille Ball, Ray Charles, Hugh Cronin and Jessica Tandy, Yehudi Menuhin and Anthony Tudor, to all of you, we give this evening, this night of honor. It's the least we can do, after all that each of you has given to each of us. God bless you. General Motors is proud to make possible this presentation of the Kennedy Center Honors in Celebration of Excellence. Like those being honored tonight, we are dedicated to highest achievement in ourselves and our products and the world around us. This program is a General Motors Mark of Excellence presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, Walter Matthau. In late 1943, I was in the Army Air Corps at March Field, California, waiting to be shipped out. When Joe Lewis and Lucille Ball came to entertain the troops, they did different things. <laughs> he was the heavyweight champion of the world, a kid out of Detroit, who destroyed the invincible symbol of Nazism in one round. Him I knew of, but Lucille Ball? I thought she was just another tall, leggy, willowy, beautiful showgirl. 
but that she was also a superb clown of infinite range was not known to me until that moment. In the early days at RKO, Lucy would say yes to almost any part. She would have swept the stage if that was the only way she could get on it. Fifteen years later, she owned the studio. <laughs> then along came TV. A lot of people told her, don't do it, Lucy, don't do it. It's a dead end. But Lucy said, let me at it. And at last, it was the perfect role. They let Lucy be Lucy. Every time she said, Ethel, I got an idea, we knew what was going to happen next. <laughs> she was the incurable schemer and dreamer who had bad luck. But it was her luminous innocence that always prevailed. There was no dream she wouldn't reach for and no fall she wouldn't take. Her side-splitting buffoonery was carved into her bone marrow by an exquisite understanding of the tragic sense of life which she has turned into a delicious celebration. found preposterous her idea to co-star with her Cuban band leader husband. So they took their act on the road. Success convinced a reluctant network to give them a chance. And what a chance it was. Ricky, this is it. 
Every Monday at 9, all America stopped to laugh. She created the standards against which other comedians would have to be measured. Her three series continue to be shown in 78 countries. She is the world's most celebrated female clown. In her spare time, she starred in feature films and Broadway musicals. Like the great stars of silent films, she creates a sublime balance between comedy and feeling. <laughs> a woman with a rare gift. The world loves Lucy. the part of Elliot Ness and the Untouchables, I can remember the lady sitting up there, was sitting in the front office, because she was the boss. The boss, she owned the studio. But it was her partner who persuaded me that I, I should do the show. He said, we're going to make the best dumb television show on television. <laughs> it wanted to be here tonight. I'd like to read something that he wrote. I love Lucy at just one mission, to make people laugh. Lucy gave it a rare quality. She can perform the wildest, even the messiest physical comedy without losing her feminine appeal. The New York Times asked me to divide the credit for its success between the writers, the directors, and the cast. I told them, give Lucy 90% of the credit and divide the other 10% among the rest of us. Desi concluded, Lucy was the show. Viv and Fred and I were just props. Damn good props, but props nevertheless. P.S. I Love Lucy was never just a title. As long as you remember that you established a place in television for women. There's some here tonight that have flown all the way out from Hollywood to pay their respects to you. Ladies and gentlemen, the Golden Girls, the Arthur. And my sister Sam, Sam Dauber. And Valerie, Valerie Harper. Until it hurts. The scream, the 
television the day to see you've earned a place on history's Baby while on the air was quite a famous first. She's been first in history throughout all.